Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Whoopi just came back with nasty surprise for Judge Janine after berating her on The View. Judge Janine is an American television personality on Fox News, a best-selling author, and a former judge. Recently, she appeared on liberal daytime talk show The View recently to promote one of her newest books. However, what was supposed to be an opportunity for advertisement devolved into a shouting match between the left and the right politically on the co-host table. It was not pretty and The View co-host Whoopi Goldberg was the most deplorably behaved of them all. Chicks on the right reported. It's pretty clear that Whoopi Goldberg doesn't follow politics very closely. She gets paid to analyze what's going on but if you listen to her it's very easy to tell that she has a very basic grasp on the news. She's just reciting talking points that she sees on TV and she's constantly saying things that just aren't true. When people who actually know what's going on go on The View it can often get a little uncomfortable. It's natural human emotion to get defensive when someone else is talking about things that you don't understand or haven't heard before. It can be intimidating. Whoopi was clearly intimidated by Janine Pirro on Thursday's show and you've probably seen her meltdown when the conversation shifted to immigration. After the segment abruptly ended, Pirro was screamed at and spit on by Whoopi and told to get the F out of the building. Did Whoopi apologize for acting like a child? Not really. In fact, she's doubling down. She seems to leave some key points out, Goldberg said with a smile. She left a lot of pertinent stuff out. Goldberg said Pirro was upset before the show even starting taping because conservative commentator Anna Navarro was appearing instead of regular co-host Joy Behar. After the confrontation, Pirro then called everybody at the table a name I cannot repeat on TV, Goldberg said. And said it front of the audience, she added. The Academy Award winner said she stepped off stage to calm down when Pirro confronted her. She could have just passed me, she didn't need to stop, Goldberg said. But she stopped and put a finger in my face and yelled I've done more for victims than you ever will. Goldberg then confirmed Piero's story that she had told her FKU. Yes, I did say it. I did say it, Goldberg said. But I did not spit on her. I did not intimidate her. Piero was not chased out of studio like a dog, Goldberg said. Whoopi is trying to clean this up but is failing miserably. We saw the segment. So we know Whoopi was unhinged. She's admitting she cursed at Piero. That's pretty much all we need to know. She can deny some of the other details all she wants. The point is that Whoopi is clearly suffering from a serious case of Trump derangement syndrome. The tolerant left strikes again. Regardless of the semantics of what actually went down the fact of the matter is that Whoopi Goldberg, the television show guests, and her fellow co-hosts had judged Janine on and they made her feel horribly unwelcome. They went out of her way to make sure she knew she was not wanted. That is not what good hosts do, in fact, the opposite and there is no excuse for their behavior. The fact that they used this past Friday's show to try and make excuses for Goldberg's behavior shows exactly how far gone they really are. However, their behavior has repercussions. Over the past 11 years, the show has increasingly had decreasing ratings due to their controversial arguments on air as well as their constant changing of panel co-hosts. Perhaps their inability to keep co-hosts has something to do with the fact that they mistreat the token conservative commentator on the panel and they never have any diversity of opinion. At the end of the day, the American people want to see their daytime talk shows as diverse as this country. No matter how hard they try to make us believe the country is full on only liberal people that fact is simply inaccurate. The country is full of diverse people, with diverse opinions, and diverse backgrounds. The view simply does not show that. Sooner or later the show is going to tank and they will know exactly why. The sooner the better. Nobody likes trash television like that. When that day finally comes it will be a good day for the television and entertainment industry, not to mention America. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.